I'm going to attempt to make as much money in one hour as possible, starting completely from scratch. I'm not allowed to use any items in my bank and I'm going to split this video into two parts as they're going to be quite long and I'm going to try and speed it up as much as possible. Um, the videos are both going to be completely different from each other because in one half I'm going to use different methods from in the other half but I'll save that to later so you can find out yourselves. Um, this is going to be a response to the video on the Rune Shark channel and make it back from your hack. Starting off I'm going to do the Squeal of Fortune and, and as I hoped I locked out and I got a Rune 2 hander. The Rune 2 hander was sent to my bank by the Squeal of Fortune for whatever reason. Now I'm going to home teleport to Burthorpe to go and get the Wicked Hood and after I get that I'm going to use it to teleport to the Death Altar and use the 100 Pure Essence in it to make Death Runes. Right, now I want to go to the G, so um, well, after a lot of derping, I'm going to eventually find the button for Edgefield, and I'm going to go and try and sell all this stuff. Right, well, right off the bat, I've managed to accrue 94k, which is probably a lot more than most people manage in their first few minutes, so I'm off to a winner from the start there. Next up I bought NPC contact runes, then I bought all the teleports that I'd need for my method that I've got planned, and I also bought a pack yak pouch. Next I used NPC contact to contact Bert the Sandman and because I've done the Elite Diary I get 120 sand which he sends to my bank. Right well I made a really easy 32k there on the sand and um, now I'm going to home teleport to Port Serum. For whatever reason, Jagex decided to change the shop so you could only buy 500 per X amount of ticks. And uh, for that reason, I only bought 500 when I meant to buy a thousand. But um, that doesn't really matter, I guess. Next, I home teleport to Caffaby and summon my yak, and I buy out all the plant pots, all the plant cures, and all the watering cans in the shop so that I can resell them for a lot more in the GE. I believe the plant pots you buy for one GP each and sell for 360 each. So there's quite a bit of money to be made there and not a lot of time. Because I've done the Elite Sears Village Diary I'm going to go collect the 200 flax that you can collect daily if you've done that. Um, you can collect lesser amounts of flax if you've done lower diaries but I guess if you don't have much money this would be worth doing every day. Every day you can buy 80 seaweed from Arhein and Caffaby. Um, you can buy these for 2 GP each and they sell in the G for 700 each so you're going to make quite a bit of money then. Next up I wanted to charter a ship to the Ooglog place so that I could buy all the meat from that shop. As I've done the Hard Ardorn Diary, I can go and get 150 Pure Essence every day from Wizard Crompity in the northeast corner. 
After this I'm going to chip a house teleport tablet to Brimhaven and go there so that I can get the free 40 pineapples and 40 apples of Del Monte every day after I've done the Karamja Elite Diary. Next I picked a few coconuts which are worth 2k each and then I took the cart to Shilo Village so that I could buy the Waterfield Vial Packs. Right, the next bit's just going to be more of me picking coconuts and buying more stuff like vials and juju spirit bags and stuff like that, so it's pretty boring, so I'm just going to fast forward it. Now a lot of the items I've bought don't sell instantly, but one thing to note is that even if something doesn't sell instantly, if you just put it a little bit under mid, quite a lot of the time it will eventually sell, and in my case all of them do quite quickly. So instead of just mashing the less than 5% button until it gets to like 1 GP, you could just wait a little bit and you might make quite a bit more money. While I wait for those items to sell, I'm going to go to the Clearincromancer's chest in Lumbridge basement. Um, quite a lot of the items in there you can buy and make quite a big profit and I'm going to be buying the chocolate, I'm going to be buying the grapes and the flour and a few other things I think as well that you can make quite a big markup on. Right, now I'm going to go to Polivanek, I think that's how you say it, um, and I'm going to buy from the Slayer Master the Broad Bolts and the Broad Unfinished Bolts, or whatever they're called. Um, I actually anticipated to have a bit more money than I did at the moment, because some of the items didn't sell instantly, so I didn't quite buy all of the Unfinished Bolts, but the Broads which you make the most money on I did actually buy all of, so that's what's important. Annoyingly, once again everything didn't sell instantly, even the broad arrow tips which normally do sell instantly. Earlier on in the video I did bank all and so that banked my Varrock teleport tab. So that means that it got put with my own stash at the bottom of my bank. Um, those of you who are quite keenly watching this video you can see my current bank at the moment and I've been winning quite a lot of staking over the last few weeks. So I'm still going quite strong at the moment. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go to the Legends Guild so that I can buy Mithril Seeds which you actually make a lot of money on because of all the people playing flower games, there's quite a lot of demand for them. As expected I've come back to see that all my stuff's sold 
Um, now I'm going to try and sell these mithril seeds, which I did buy for 173k instantly, and they actually instantly sold at 300k, so I've just made 130k in literally a minute. Buying 80 staffs a day from NAF staff store in Varrock will net you about 60k profit at a time, so that's worth doing. Now the last thing I'm going to do in this part of the video is to go to your nil and the main reason I'm doing that is to buy death runes from the magic guild as you make 60k from buying 1k death runes. I'm also going to pick up some box traps and some nuts from the pet store as you make quite a bit on those. You may be wondering why I've got armadil runes, uh, you should really know why but you'll find out in the next part of the video anyway. One of the rewards for completing the Fremenic Elite task is that you can change your spellbook using the NPC contact spell. Now you can only do this from Lunar to Normal Magics, but that's still quite useful. Well that's the end of part one. If you are wondering, that was actually exactly half an hour of game time and I managed to make 900k in that time, which is pretty decent. I'm pretty sure that you could probably do better than that but in the time I was given I, I think I've done quite a good job um, I would not be surprised at all if anyone's found a similar way to, but they've managed to make it better um, by all means uh, that's fine but um, I hopefully I'll be able to make a lot more money than most other people in the second part of my video